Hello, my name is Karen Studley and I'm a Principal Consultant at Absoft. I'm here today to show you a dashboard we've created to help businesses better understand the relationships they have with their customers. This dashboard has been created using SAP Business Objects Dashboard Product version 4.1. It's based on data generated for a fictitious food manufacturing company. To explain the rationale for the dashboard, we chose to focus on four important facets of customer interaction. Those being the debt management of a customer, the sales contribution they make to the overall business, the load the customers place on your business's logistics operations, and the service level you in turn provide your customers in terms of delivery performance. We'll look at each of these facets in turn first of all looking at debt management. In the first of our four quadrants we start off with an overall picture of the total level of debt across all of our customers and the amount of total remaining credit. We can see at a glance the value of debt by age and also debt that's past its due by date and how long in days. We can see how typical the current situation is using this bullet chart. We can see using this chart the current level of debt, the total credit limit and also the level of debt in previous periods indicated by the depth of the grey background shading. We can see that we are edging towards higher levels of debt than has been typical in the past. If we use this drop down box on the right we can filter on specific customers to analyse individual performance. If we select, for example, Sainsbury's, then we can see the individual levels of debt along with the specific payment terms associated with that customer. We can see that this customer is quite near their credit limit, with a level of overdue debt between 21 and 30 days old. This could relate to a specific invoice under dispute, so this dashboard could be extended to allow us to jump to additional reports that would show us the specific invoice numbers making up this total. Moving on to the second quadrant for contribution. First of all, I will replace the dashboard back at a total level. The contribution quadrant allows us to review the sales performance at a total and individual customer level. We can see the total revenue, margin and volume in cases along with the average revenue margin and volume in cases across customers by period. If we filter again on specific customers then we can see individual performance. We can filter the graph by using this control here to focus on specific months. We can also filter the graph to look at specific measures so we can remove detail from the graph that we're not interested in for this specific analysis. We can look at relative contributions across the year against three measures. For instance showing that Aldi has contributed the greatest revenue for the smallest volume in cases. We can also view the trends in the individual measures across the periods along with target information and a trend indicator on the previous period. If we look at Waitrose for example, then we can see that the year to date revenue is well above target for the year, but that the margin for the current period is down on last month. The third quadrant is focusing on cost to serve. This is intended to reflect the load each customer places on your logistics operations. Customers who place larger orders less frequently, with longer lead times and with less subsequent changes to those orders are cheaper to serve than customers who don't. Hence this quadrant is interested in the total number of days spent processing the various documents, along with document counts for the various different types, including the number of credits, returns and the number of changes made to those documents following the initial creation. We can filter the report to focus just on the volume of documents created. 
We can further filter to remove, for instance, the impact of document changes on the axes of the graph. This quadrant also allows insight into product families, allowing us to compare the results for individual groups of products. Obviously, this is possible across customers also. The final quadrant looks at customer service. It focuses on the delivery performance given to customers by showing the total percentage of deliveries made on time and in full according to the initial version of the customer order. From this we can see that all customers received or experienced a drop in delivery performance in April. With Waitrose dropping down to 65% of deliveries on time and in full as opposed to a best performance of 90%. I hope this gives you a good insight into the types of applications BI and dashboards can be used for. This is just a small glimpse of the capability and potential business benefit that can be achieved. If you'd like to know more, then please contact Absoft using the details shown. Thank you.